Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk about iOS 13 developer beta seven. Yes, Apple has officially released the software on a Thursday. So it appears that Apple will continue on a one week release cycle or a one week and one day. Last time we saw a beta was iOS 13 developer beta six on the seventh and today we see beta seven. So a week and a day. So Apple is definitely looking to push production on iOS 13 and from here on out we should see See a new beta every single week for iOS 13 until its official launch somewhere towards the end of September. Let's get to some of the features and changes that I've come across after about an hour of using iOS 13 developer beta 7. Of course, in the next couple of days, you guys already know you can anticipate my follow up video where I share with you guys additional new features and changes. I also share a YouTube community poll where everybody has their own opinion and everybody gives an input. You can expect that video in the next couple of days, but for right now, Let's take a quick look at iOS 13 and developer beta 7. The software came in at approximately 300 to 400 megabytes. That's going to depend on your device and the beta version that you're coming from. Now, the latest beta does have a few changes. Now, this iPhone uh, 10 S Max here has iOS 13 developer beta 6. This one is running in beta 7. And the first thing I want to point out is that Apple continues to refine the software. The fonts are sleeker and nicer looking, and the actual UI continues to change. For example, if we 3D touch on the notes, can you spot the difference? Take a look at the new photos icon here under the notes application or the notes extension and control center. You see that the camera in beta 7 it's a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. All the icons are unified. The fonts are sleeker as well in comparison to beta six. Now there's also some changes on the home screen itself. So if we go to the home screen here in beta seven and we 3D touch on the settings application in comparison to beta six, take a look at the icons here and take a look at the actual extensions. Everything has been sort of inverted. The rearrange app icon here is at the bottom for the settings application when in beta 7 is at the top as you can probably tell battery is at the bottom on beta 6 and it's on the top in beta 7 so everything was sort of inverted here and again you can also see the new ui refinements within the os so if we take a look here let's say i think it's the siri shortcuts application we can also see that this has been changed here again the fonts are more refined everything it's a lot cleaner to look at now behavior has also changed in beta 7. for example if we invoke siri now we press on the power button here on the side button take a look how siri in beta 6 sort of glitches away instead of having a transition you see that sort of a glitch away take a look at beta 7 it sort of transitions away take a look closely see that so definitely definitely apple is polishing up the software and making ios 13 a lot cleaner a lot nicer to look at and hopefully a lot of the bugs are fixed but we won't be able to test that until i have my follow-up video where i share with you guys additional uh, new features and changes and where i talk about performance and battery etc that should be uploaded here on the channel in the next couple of days be sure to subscribe for that if we take a look at the control center extension for the brightness. There's also a change here as well. Take a look at the 3D touch toggle at the bottom here. If you take a look here, it no longer says appearance. So in beta seven, it just says dark mode until sunrise. This one says appearance, dark mode on until sunrise. So definitely, once again, a lot cleaner, a lot sleeker. Apple is refining the software and that is to be expected as iOS 13 continues on its path to its official launch. And those are some of the minor changes that I've come across so far. I'm sure there's a few more that I will come across in the next couple of days. As I mentioned, stay tuned here to the channel. Public beta testers, this is not out just yet. Follow me on Twitter. I'll let you guys know when this will be available for you. Thank you for watching this quick first look at iOS 13 and developer beta 7. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.